Well, it's 1962 and Puhi Johnson has just been crowned Miss New Zealand, the first Māori wahine to receive the prestigious title. Now, this is where the story starts with the incredible new show, Te Puhi. Please welcome to the cafe two of the show's stars, studded cast, Antonio Te Maioha and Roy Mata Fox. Yes, Good welcome. Good uh, this sounds fascinating. It's, it's not just a story about winning a beauty pageant, though, is it? It's a bit more than that, about going back to community and things. Yes. What I've enjoyed the most about it is going back to that time of the 60s and just how humble everyone was. I based my character a lot off my grandmother who was very hardworking, always looked tidy and yeah, just I'm loving it. Yeah. And who is your character? Who, which character do you play? I'm playing Hineruhi Johnson who is Tepohi's older sister so I live vicariously through my sister. I'm just like, no, you're going to go out there and you're going to make us all proud. I think the drive for my character is mostly driven by wanting Tepohi to not only do well for our family but for they are Māori, our people, yeah. Mm. Now, Antonia, you, well, you both actually just come off the back of a really big season at the Pop-Up Globe, and we know you from Spartacus as well, and Zoolander too. I mean, what made you want to get involved with this project? Uh, it was nice to come from, like, the Globe and Shakespeare and bring it right back home and uh, represent us, uh, Māori, New Zealanders, our people, and do something, yeah, from back in the day that... Uh, is from a really nice time, like Roy Mata mm. said, and just... Uh, okay, so, so who do you play in this? So I play the uncle, the parents of the two girls passed away, right. uh, young in a car crash, right? Yes. And um, uh, I brought them up and uh, support them. And uh, Uncle Sis, who has uh, like an alter ego because he runs, the family runs a concert party group in Rotorua uh, at night, so he's the leader of that and the MC and... Uh, yeah. So it sounds like a real good 60s vibe too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and as you said, clearly a good time for Māori around the 1960s, yeah. you know. Yeah. Would that be fair to say? I think so. I mean, these women uh, in the play are inspired and are representing women like uh, Maureen Whang, Moana Whanga and Maureen Waka, who were um, the first and second Māori Miss New Zealanders. Oh. And it's a time when they'd probably been told that you'll be a typist in someone's office or you'll be maybe a nurse's assistant or, or uh, in some sewing factory. And they were like, no, I won't. I'm going to be this and I'm going to be the best at it. And they continued that through mm. the rest of their lives. So. And, it, and at that time too, it was like a real gateway into something like a, a beauty pageant was a gateway into something more. Exactly. Probably more so than it is now, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, they lived off the back of it with these tours they went on and uh, just the contacts they made while they were from those tours, mm. yeah. And what, and is it completely a play or is there, you know, with Māori, so I'm sure that there's a bit of singing in there as well? Oh, there's, there's quite a bit. Oh, is there? Oh, from the loss of the voice. Oh, I think no. it's <laughs> 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 no, From Shakespeare to a kapahaka, so, um, oh, brilliant. yeah, it's, it's, I've, absolutely loved getting in touch with Kapahaka and the way it was done back then as opposed to now. It's far more modern now. With It's quite intricate now, but I love taking it back to the old school. When you're, talking, when you're looking at beauty pageants, it's surrounded by controversy a lot of the time, particularly as they went on. So is this, would you say this was the golden era of beauty pageants? I would say so. I'm not a beauty pageant expert. Wasn't it beauty pageants in the 60s? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean... I think it was pre the controversy, and and, and, um, and the writer that wrote this play, you know, yeah. how are they related to the story? So she's the niece of Maureen Kingy. Maureen, I'm getting the names mixed up, but right. she's she's the niece, so she's inspired by her auntie uh, to write this um, play. Oh, it sounds and fascinating. Each, each character's name has a significance to someone in her family or her life. Oh, that's great. And even though, what I've found interesting is even though there's Rotorua over there and I'm from Ruatoria, which is right over here, that country life is, is very similar. Oh. Mm. Sounds, sounds great. great. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much for joining us today, guys. Uh, it's a he performs its world premiere at the Herald Theatre from June the 12th as part of the Matariki season. For all the details, go to aucklandlive.co.nz.